Hello everyone. Welcome to the today's session of object oriented programming. We'll have a, every single video very short, less than uh, five minutes because you should understand each topic in depth. So today's first topic is abstraction. The first definition of abstraction is abstraction is a skeleton of the data to be displayed to the user. Now, who is the user? User is the person who is using your application, whether it is the word for Windows application, whether it is Facebook for the web application or whether it is AWS or say Flipkart on your mobile application. So the end user is a person who is going to use your software. So what is abstraction? So abstraction is basically the basic skeleton of the data to be displayed to the user. Now, let's try to understand this topic with the practical. In order to work with the abstraction, we'll be using Microsoft Visual Studio for the demonstration purpose. So what are the steps you need to take care of? First open Visual Studio, then click on the new project select c sharp from the language select console application as project type type project name and open the application for this i have already installed microsoft visual studio you can download it express edition from the microsoft's official site here you need to click on the new project then select the visual c sharp from the language section and console application for creating your first console application and then name some suitable project name here and click OK. Once you click OK, an environment like this will open, which is similar to the C language or C++ language environment, where you will find the main, where you will write down the code for the stuff. But now let's discuss about the abstraction first definition. That is what is skeleton. So Whenever I am talking about the employee, I know that an employee will have some ID, the employee will have some name and employee will have certain salary. So these are the information for employee entity known to me is basically a skeleton for an employee. So basically, whenever you are saying abstraction, what abstraction means for any entity, number of identified component inside it is called as skeleton of that particular component or entity. So in order to create an abstraction in object oriented programming, you need to create a class and that class will have some members inside it and these members and some methods inside it will create the skeleton of this employee class and that complete skeleton of the employee class is called as abstraction. So basically the first definition of abstraction is abstraction is a skeleton of a data that you require. Now let's move towards the second definition of abstraction and we'll discuss in more detail in your next video abstraction helps you to partition the program into many independent concepts so we'll discuss this point in our next video series